My name is Jill Kittner. I'm from Seattle, Washington, and I race mountain bikes down hills professionally. My name is Bryn Atkinson. I'm a professional mountain biker. I'm from Australia and live in Bellingham, Washington. So yesterday we went to Black Mountain Cycle Center. Another uplift later or not? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you here. What's your name? Joe. Joe Bins. Yeah. Where are we at? Black Mountain Cycle Center. This is all your land? All my land up to the top of the hill there, yeah. Um, probably one of my favorite little bike parks. Uh, had an awesome little uh, shuttle setup, tractor on the way up, and just uh, short, steep, aggressive kind of trails, good jumps, had everything really. Like you just spend a couple of days there and not be bored. I grew up in the city, so I started with BMX and um, took that about as far as I could, and then uh, switched to four cross, which was like similar to BMX, but it was four people down hill head to head and it was jumps and obstacles and then switch to slalom and then downhill and then I've done enduros and so I just kind of am an all-arounder mountain biker and off-roader. <laughs> mountain biking uh, for me has kind of progressed. I was a World Cup racer for over a decade and now I'm uh, more of a meteor athlete so covering kind of all aspects of uh, mountain biking in general, trail riding, a um, little bit of downhill here and there. We've been together for like 13 years or something and we're married obviously and um, we've ridden together like that whole time so um, we're both like we were racers right so we were trying to find that edge and like you know I'd watch him and he'd watch me and we'd film it and we'd time it and we'd like give each other feedback and so now we're like really in tune with like it might sound a bit we're like a bit critical like always trying to find perfection you know but that's like riding fast and perfect is like what we love to do. We moved up to Bellingham, Washington uh, about a year ago and it's just a, a really active mountain bike community. A lot of really good trails right in the middle of town. So we've sort of placed ourselves, uh, you know, like a, a mile from the main trail, trail network, Galbraith Mountain. Pretty much everything I ride is gonna be uh, a little more aggressive, kind of faster, steeper, rougher, and uh, Bellingham is just kind of perfect for that. You know, like, so we both are kind of in the same mindset of just going fast and like being as efficient and like dialed as you can be. So like from choosing products to like training every day, you know, we've like been in sync for a long time and it's like really nice to have a buddy that's in the same kind of headspace as you. So I think we're like really lucky like in life to have found each other and get to do what we do. Yeah. 
like world stage, my personal accomplishment, there's nothing that really tops the Olympics. It's like the ultimate pinnacle of the sport. And it's, it was kind of like world champions from every single sport were in one place and just the best of the best. And the media that surrounds it was hectic. Like we did tours through New York, like through every magazine. And you could just reach a lot more people with that avenue. And for me personally, I just wanted to have a voice that mattered. So, I mean, I was trying to see if I could do it, but at the same time, like, my goal was to be a good person and have a good positive message about biking to reach millions of people really. So to come out of that with a medal, with a blown out knee and just the roller coaster that the Olympics is insane. Like, I don't think you fully ever recover from that ride. You know, it's just such extreme highs and lows. And like we were on Oprah, you know, it was like, <laughs> and you're hanging out with like Kobe and Michael Phelps. It's just like a scale that you'd never have access to in a regular biking world, you know? The further you take something, the better you get. And, um, you know, I've put my whole life into riding bikes and like every little skill like I've worked on and addressed. And you can only get to that point with a certain amount of time that you put into something. So yeah, I've put my time in and really, I really love perfecting things and trying to like be as good as you can be at something. So I don't mind working hard and like doing things over and over and over again. So I guess um, switching sports has kept me in it for so long because I've done different disciplines and had to relearn everything all over again from the start. So yeah, it's been a fun ride and uh, I'm enjoying it still. <laughs>